All right, let's check out the video quality of this. <laughs> You guys hand them the keys. Yeah, man. Gentleman came up to our camp last night, said who he was. He's coming down. I guess he's got his own YouTube, guys. But he's coming out in the field with us right now. So he's doing his YouTubes. Um, like I said, anyone that wants to come down and volunteer and come out and see what we're doing, but that's going to be a spot for those of you that are on YouTube. You're going to be able to see broadcasting of what's going on. We have two teams out. Let me flip this around. Should have a lot better quality with this. Uh, we have two teams out already. We're going out to uh, uh, what we're doing is we're pinpointing an area where Border Patrol keeps getting shot out and they got Scott's on a mountain. And they have these little makeshift cabins that they built where they're trafficking humans. Um, maybe dope, but definitely humans are going through this area. So what we're going to do is uh, right now I'm in our city. I've got a similar setup. Um, it's not far from our current location. And uh, it's desert wash. It's actually going to be hidden behind a certain area. I'm going to take them through a real homeless camp. That's a big one that has infrastructure and setups just like they would build these out in the mountains. It's the closest thing from our um, from our sources describing the location that we're going to be trying to pinpoint down. It's the closest thing we got out here that we can take them through so they know what to look for, and then they're going to be able to distinguish. Now, where we're going out to search for the human trafficking, there are absolutely no homeless in the area. It's very isolated. Uh, I know my phone's blowing up. Apparently, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm a sex offender and all this other. I mean, I, they got they got paperwork, guys. It's real. Look. We don't care. We want everybody that's that's just not involved in what we're doing, let them have their feeding frenzy because they're not stopping anyone from coming out. And we got a lot of people out here. And no matter what media or everything else says to try to discredit this operation, um, I don't care that Craig Sawyer has started changing his tune. I really don't care. It doesn't matter. It doesn't affect. Okay? He was down there and he saw that camp twice and he only came down there with uh, media crews after he went down there and we showed him the first time. All right? Uh, yes, we have hundreds of people who saw condoms, so they saw the lube. Okay, we have people who went in and saw everything you'd have, but this is even better. We have pictures, and we actually have all the materials and the physical evidence. So if you want to prove us a liar, you can come on down, and we'll show you the evidence we have. Remember, we collected bags and bags and bags because the government wasn't doing their due diligence. They weren't doing anything. So you have a bunch of people, as usual, guys, on. they're trying to get you to look this way. They're trying to discredit any of us out here. The first one they're going to attack is me, which is fine. Let them attack me. We're not going to give any interviews to the media. We're not going to sit here and have to justify any bullshit stories they're throwing out there and all this fake-ass shit they're doing. All that just adds credibility. All that adds fuel for our fire because that means we're on the right track. When they're, when they're spreading lies, creating lies, repeating lies, that means we are really close to the truth and... They're trying to get everyone to look away so we can be discredited. I want you to understand something. Any agencies, any, I don't care if it's Vets for Child Rescue or anyone else, if they're out there running their mouth, changing their tune, I want you to look at how much money they've taken from the public and how many people they've rescued. Then I want you to look at how much money we've taken from the public oh. and how many children have we rescued in our city. 38. Fact check that. 38 children we've rescued, not just homeless children on the streets or children being abused. And our team went all the way to California with the thanks to Squadron 109 and a lot of our churches to outfit a vehicle with new tires and make sure we had gas. And we got two children out of a pedophile's house. Now, you don't get to see all that unless you're in our church, but those in our church get to see all those live videos. Those are private videos. So anyone's taking your money and then all of a sudden they're changing their tune. The only, the only excuse I can think of is obviously either they're being threatened or threatened by someone else or they're being threatened by the fact that you guys are going to hurt their bottom line. They don't want you sending material support out to equip the search and rescue teams. They want you sending money to their organization so they can pay to fly and drive all over the place. Well, we'll do it for free. You just send us the fuel cards. That's what the teams are doing right now. Your fuel cards, all those, we're filling these guys' trucks up. We got guys, they, they, they're expensive. Yeah, it fills them up. But guess what? 100% of what you send goes to them. 
goes to their vehicles, goes to where they ain't got to come out of their own pocket because they're already volunteering their time. They're already taking a risk going out here with us. We're pounding. We've got two areas being searched right now. I've got pinpoints coming from all over the southern state. There's nothing Craig Sawyer or the media or anyone else. They can go and blast and make all this white. You fact check every single fucking thing they have. You fact check that. And you know, the great thing is, is once it's out and exposed, people are going to be asking, why are they doing this? Why did they report and repeat this shit as if they're lies? Why? So they're just going to end up waking up more people. Their goal and their what they're trying to do is they're hoping we stop. The more they lie, the more they cover up, the more these nonprofits start changing their tune because it's threatening their bottom line. You know, Phoenix Dream Center is taking our women and children and we find they're not changing their tune. They're nonprofit. You want to send money somewhere, send it to the Phoenix Dream Center because they're on the ground actually taking care of people. They're not running around with video crews trying to get their name filmed up, trying to get on every single news station so they can be popular and, and raise all this money off of someone's misery. No, I'm sorry, but it ain't happening. Our children, all of our children are being raped. All of our children are being abused. And we're going we're gonna to go out and we're going to do everything we can to put a stop to it. That's a fact. So we're not caring, once again, what the media is saying. The ones that are coming out, they're just going to keep validating and fact-checking. And every day we'll go out there, God's going to keep revealing stuff. I'm going to stand fast. i got full faith in God because we stomp on scorpions and serpents, and he exposes lies all the time. We got load up? Yeah, I'm going to Okay, now we do have, uh, we're taking our drone team. Um, I'm not gonna say the situ uh, location we're going to, but we'll get some videos out. I've got a plethora of coyote trails, videos, uh, pictures of all the black jugs tracking in all these corridors. We know where those are, right, for the most part. Our mission is to isolate and track down the human trafficking corridor. All that other intelligence, I'm just forwarding down to the border. But I'm pretty sure we should have some pretty good picture quality. My wife went out and got me a, a phone that she said should be able to hold up to to hold up to everything that we're doing out here. So I don't I shouldn't have any more bad pixelations. This is actually a really good phone. So we're out here doing a mission every day. We do have 22 acres that we're building a fob. We do have three other private property positions. We do have a coalition of ranchers that are on our team. And there's nothing anyone in the national or the world naysayers can do about it because we were smart enough when we secured that site to show hundreds, hundreds of our own neighbors. And you're not going to be able to convince them no matter what you put on the news that that was anything other than a child sex trafficking camp and a pedophile rings working with the cartels. And they, we caught them both in bed together at the same time. Remember, we have certain things that no one has. If we want to be vindicated, we can vindicate ourselves right now. But the more they lie and the more, look, man, we lay traps for troubadours. My God knows what he's doing. So you just stand fast. You go out here with us every day. And you don't, if you're going to send money to a nonprofit that's helping children down here, uh, there's, I'll give you two. Mama V and the Southern Arizona Youth for Veterans. Look them up. She's fostered over 278 children. She's taken in molested children. We pulled off the streets to protect them until we could prove that they were molested. That woman is an amazing woman, okay? And she's fostered over 278 kids and all the from all over the country. You know, and she just took in a child about a year and a half ago after that child's mom committed suicide, all right? And, it's the, and you want to support someone, why don't you support them? I'll take you out to their ranch. You want to see things they need? You want to help those kids out there? Because guess what? 100% of everything going to Mama V goes to the kids. And she's not out flying around the country calling in documentary crews to try to get fame. Everybody, look at me. I want exposure to the problem. We've had exposure to this problem for decades. Your own government intelligence report says there's human trafficking going on down here. That there are pedophile rings down here. Their own intelligence reports say that. So we're just taking the government's word that it's really happening and we're going to go out and prove it. How about that? If you want to send money to a nonprofit, look up the Phoenix Dream Center. Send money to them because they're going out there. They're taking in the people we're helping. But don't send money to any more of these nonprofit jackasses who all of a sudden turn their tune when we start cutting in on their money. They want money. They don't want a solution to the problem. They're not getting their asses out here in the desert humping it with us. And we've been doing this. We're going on what? We're going to be going on two weeks every day, three searches a day. And a brutal summertime in the desert. All right? 
and they're still doing this on cameras, and they keep changing their story, and they're trying to backpedal because they're fucking cowards. That's what they...